the racism, it's more, like, I mean, it's bad, of course, but the things that I've experienced as, like, older men, like, maybe they'll think that, like, I'm gonna sleep with them. Like, I remember one time when I came here as a student, I was, it was probably my, I was only here for maybe three or four months, and I was at Iwa subway station, and, you know, like, you walk down the stairs, you're waiting for the subway, and they have the seats. So, I took a seat, and, like, this old man comes up to me, and he's super old, like, maybe 60, 70 years old. He, like, missing teeth. The teeth that he do got are black. Like, it was just, it was a bad experience. And he, like, sat down next to me, and he said something. I think he asked, like, where are you from first? Like, normal, hello, where are you from? That kind of stuff. I'm like, oh, I'm from America. And he was like, oh, you're really pretty. And I was like, oh, thank you. And then he, like, asked me to, like, kiss him. And, like, just on the cheek. And I'm like, no, I don't want to kiss you. And he asked me again, like, oh, just give me a kiss. And I said, no. And he, like, took his hand. And he, like, started, like, he was, like, touching my, like, inner thigh. So I, like, jump up. And then he, like, got mad at me. He gets up, and he's yelling at me while he's walking away in Korean. And I've only been here for a couple months. I have no idea what he's saying. But, I mean, I can tell, like, he's mad, and he's yelling. And then people start looking at me like I did something wrong. And I'm like, because I don't want you to touch me, and I don't know you. But it, that was probably, like, the most... That was, like, the scariest experience for me. Be, like, again, I didn't feel in danger because it's a subway station. I could get up, walk away, and he's going to leave me alone. But I was still really afraid.